Last week, a myriad of events occurred. Pulled a prank on Steven, which actually seemed to backfire a little bit. I just got an email from future Ben. Future you said something terrible was going to happen to me. Yeah. Did you look in the mirror again? No. Future Ben wrote to Stephen that his life would spiral out of control if he rose to fame and fortune. Are you seeing this, you guys? Are you seeing this? This is terrible. I can't believe this. This is awful. We can't let this happen. I can't believe I'd agree to filming Stucky in 2000, uh, 2000, I, 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 I can't even read that number. And Steven missed two of his meetings with the director of the ISC. But this week, I think we have a foolproof plan to get him on the right track. Whoa. Tell me when your appointment with the ISC director is. Three o'clock. Tell me when your appointment with the ISC director is. Three o'clock. Tell me how long until your appointment with the IT director is. Three to ten minutes. It's all the time. Okay, well then. Get there, hurry! Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Don't forget to smile. Be happy. Go a little skip in your stuff. say Gloria Esteban? Y yes. Haven't you been reading my emails? Uh, yeah. But it is such a pleasure to meet you, Gloria. I am such a big fan. Huh. I say that to all the famous people I meet to boost their egos, you know? You think it's disingenuous? Huh. Don't hate the player. In the game. So, what's it like being exiled from Cuba? I mean, obviously it did wonders for your career. I mean, it propelled you to fame, fortune, top 1,000 Bilbo charts. But I mean, really, why would you end up stooping so low and just becoming a professor here at the ISC? And furthermore, how do you stay so youthful looking when you're like 52 years old? Is it, is it plastic surgery? I always thought that was a little bit overrated. I think I think you have me confused with somebody else. Okay. How was I supposed to know that it was Gloria Esteban rather than Gloria Esteban? Anybody could have made that mistake. Anybody. Steven, I brought you here because I need you to start a student organization that will help keep students with abilities out of harm's way. We need to keep closer tabs on them without them knowing, at least for now. All right, start a student organization. Sounds simple enough. Hi, Roy. Well, today we're supposed to have a meeting with the director of the IAC and Steven. It's supposed to be a secret meeting. Well, at least that's what Steven told us. I don't know what it's about, but it sounds top secret. So excited! Uh, I guess. Is this 
for the new Filipino organization. Why are you waiting here? The meeting's over there. I'm sure that you can go in. Uh, I'm sorry, new girl, but you're going to have to wait outside. What? Stephen, what is going on? Well, I decided to plan ahead, like a true leader should. And so what I did is, I took flyers and I put them all over campus and then sent out a campus-wide email. I told you to invite only the people with abilities that you knew. Well, I was going to make the new members wait outside. Then I'll interrogate them one by one and assess whether or not they're a spy, okay? I figured we ought to cover all our bases. That's what's called efficiency. Wait a second. I thought this was supposed to be a secret meeting. Hey, how long is this going to take? I guess soccer practice in an hour. You play soccer? What position do you play? Yeah, but I play ultimate soccer. You probably don't know anything about it. Okay. Are you giving me an attitude? No. All right, you crazy kids. Let's just calm down. Am I going to have to turn this car around? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't steal my thunder. Not in my hour of glory. Okay. This meeting is supposed to be a half hour long. You have 20 minutes left. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back on track. Is there a problem here? I got an email that said we should meet here. Uh, there's no problem here. Just have a seat. No problem. That's not what the flyer said. It said it was a secret meeting of utmost importance. You put that on the flyer! <laughs> Need I remind you, Ben? You shouldn't talk out of turn or be late. Now, let's get started, shall we? We're gathered here today because I told you to be here today. Well, strictly speaking, the first thing we have on our agenda is how do we become a justice league of super students? Wow, that's really cool! Is that really why we're here? No, we are here as a student organization to admit other students with special abilities and keep them safe. Stephen, will you just go on with the presentation? All right. Now, I want you to take a gander at these faces. Grain them in your minds because these faces, faces true evil. No, Stephen, these are the people you want to protect. The ones with abilities that we know about. What? Hey, wait, isn't that the girl sitting outside? Who? The girl, right hand, bottom corner. Who? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. See, that girl has glasses, Giselle. Maybe you might want to invest in getting some bifocals for yourself. Alright, let's focus here. It's me time, okay? We only have a few minutes left. So, do we have any other obnoxious outbursts before we can get a move on? What exactly is this organization going to be called? I was just getting to that, Ben. If you had been patient, you wouldn't have needed to ask. Alright, well what I've decided to do is in order to establish a name, we're going to hold a little contest. Ah, there we are. And if you win, you get a $3 coupon to Applebee's. Boo! Ow, oh, my sternum! Stephen, you did give a name to the organization. 
you when you registered, right? By by register, do you do you mean? You did register, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I, of course I registered the the organization. Okay, guys, we're gonna take a five minute break. Everybody, meet back in five minutes. Uh, Stephen, it's going to take a lot longer than five minutes to register an organization. Meeting adjourned. I told you to register it under the Filipino American Student Association. Wait a second. Why is this Filipino? Well, it looks like I'm not the bad guy here after all. Why don't you tell him, ISC director? Well, I don't condone the actions of our primary company, but we injected all of you with special abilities when you were young. We wanted to see different effects across different ethnicities. That is outrageous! Yes, I know it was a terrible, unethical mistake to even start this experiment, but matters have been complicated. You see, there is this very dangerous student, Luce. He has telekinetic abilities. He has been slaying other people with special abilities, and we believe he will not hesitate to keep committing these horrible acts. Wow. Way to go, ISC. We want you to be on the lookout for him. His name? is Edward Song. If I should pull up the 